No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Do I put this ear thing in? No, you don't have to. I don't have to? No, we're just going to talk. Insomnia. Okay. Insomnia. Nice to Hi. meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, we are live on air. Actually, we are right now. They're oh, hi. <laughs> right now, they're looking at a sample Ames test. Andrew was investigating the possibility that there were people cheating on the Ames test, and we just did. Really? We just did a sample test, and Andrew actually failed fifth grade math just now on oh, camera. Oh, I'm sorry. So That's there was that. Oh, what are they, what, now what are they covering in fifth grade math? That's like not even algebra yet. No, it was a hard question. I won't it lie. Was? It was? It uh, was Logan Academy students take part in four field trips during the school year. They visit a library, museum, a park, and a zoo. How many different ways can the four trips be ordered for the school year? Oh, yeah. So you, you know. You could just write you out just write it all out. Did but he just guess? Have, yeah, he guessed 16. Mm. I was like 24. I got it right. Of course you got it right. Yeah. So <laughs> no offense. <laughs> What's not fair? I, I, I know the answer. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. And if you don't, I'll erase it and change it to the right answer. That'll be a good teacher. Um, thanks for joining News Now. I really I'm glad to be here. It. So I know you just did Newsmaker with John, which will air Sunday morning, guys. I know. Do I look thing. like I've been beat up? No. Did he like give you some really hard hitting questions? Yeah. Is, is John Huck. Does he look like he's been beat up? Because I dished it right back. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to be joining me a little later today, so I'll let the Ask viewers him. decide. They'll probably <laughs> judge him. Like, he's been using know, makeup John. to cover up those bruises. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh. thank you. Actually, some of our viewers are actually showing you how you do it. It's so you do four times three times two times one. Exactly. Right. But see, the thing that's not fair for Andrew is that he hasn't been in fifth grade math for a long time. <laughs> this is true. And the fifth graders who are preparing for the AIMS test all year actually have learned those strategies. Right. So they knew what to do to get the right answer, whereas Andrew just guessed. So you're on Andrew's side. No, no, I just, <laughs> it's pity. Yeah. Gotta be nice. Gotta be nice. Sympathy. Sympathy. Right. Well, okay, so you're in Phoenix this week for Small yes. Business Week, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, as you know, I work in Washington, D.C. Right. during the weekday, and I'm usually home in Arizona on the weekends. But once a month, I get to be home for the whole week. And what I'm super excited about is that this month, it's during Small Business Week. And I'm a huge fan of small businesses. And so I've been spending the week visiting some of my favorite small businesses and learning about some of the cool stuff they're doing. So what have, who have you visited so far? Okay, so this morning I will say that I exceeded my caloric limit for the day. Oh my God, that sounds uh -huh. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> because we visited Carl's Quality Bakery, which is in Sunny Slope. It's on Central and like Dunlap. Okay. Yeah. And oh my gosh. So Carl and his wife own the bakery. Their daughter actually studied in Switzerland, which is where Carl's from, for six years to become a chocolatier. So they not only have baked goods, including cronuts, they also have handmade chocolates. Do they taste like the New York cronuts? I've never had a New York cronuts. Me neither. But Do you know that I've avoided cronuts for a long time because I'm pretty sure that it goes straight to your hips? Probably, but right? most good things do. I ate one <laughs> bite of the cronut this morning and it was like, goodness, melting on my tongue. It was amazing. It was so good. I had an imposter cronut in Los Angeles. And I was an like, this, well, it wasn't, you know, the real cronut is in New York. That's right. the one. And so I had some uh, bakery make a, or try their cronut and it was just so underwhelming. Okay. You got to go to Carl's Bakery because this was so good. I kind of wanted to cry. It was so good. I will go to Carl's yeah. Bakery. Carl's Quality Bakery. It doesn't seem like it's too far from here. No, it's not. It's just yeah. up the street. Yeah. And, it's, and they're wonderful and they're family owned and it's like generational and they, they're awesome. So what is the, talk about Small Business Week though, what is the purpose behind it? So the idea behind Small Business Week is to spend one week a year where you're highlighting the contribution that small businesses make to our economy. You know, you hear a lot about big companies that mm -hmm. are doing, you know, lots of things and making lots of money, but the reality is, in a state like Arizona, over 90% of our businesses are small businesses. So they're the real economic engine of our state. And I love small businesses, I could start listing them. all a lot of them, but one of the businesses I love is Francis. Do you know Francis? No, I don't. Oh my gosh, you've got to go. I've only been here for six months. Okay, so you, okay. The small boutiques are the best places to do shopping. I got this ring at Francis. Oh, cool. So Francis is a boutique that's up on Central and Camelback. Okay. And they've got, um, you know, locally made jewelry and they have cool shoes and I have great boots from there. I mean, just wonderful stuff. Okay. Um, but there's also small businesses that do things that people don't really think about being important in their lives. So earlier today, I visited a company called ER2 Recycling and they recycle electronic products. 
So for instance, right, like an old iPhone. When you're done with your iPhone, you don't want to throw it in the trash. It'll go in a landfill. It's horrible. ER2 recycles the parts and instead of putting it in a landfill, reuses those parts for other things in our community. So if I was a regular consumer that had an electronic, I went there, I would just give it to them? Is it a donation thing or is it something where you trade your electronic? Or so most of the work that ER2 Recycling does is um, they have contracts with companies and then companies will give all of their old like computers or okay. old TVs or old products but there are systems where individuals can give their own cell phone over and they can either donate it but ER2 Recycling also has a little store where you can buy products that they've repurposed oh. for super reduced prices. So if you want an iPhone 6 but don't want to spend all that money. On or if you want like a huge flat screen TV they're selling them for like less than half the price. It's crazy. And I'm talking like big TVs, like big. <laughs> like more than 50 inches big. Like big. Like I don't think I need, I don't need a TV that big, but for someone who does, they can get it for a great deal there. Hey guys, are you listening? <laughs> I know one of our viewers had said, I'm a, I'm a small business owner. She got really excited. Lana oh, that's Carusa. wonderful. She's like, come see my store. Okay, Lana, tell us about your store. What's your store? Give her a couple seconds. There's a 30 second There's delay. There's 30 second delay. Yeah. But I see someone else mentioned Sweet Republic ice cream. Sweet Republic is the bomb. But there's other cool places like Sweet Republic. So there's a place in North Central Phoenix um, called Churn. They do have this that's caramel sauce that's bookmarks. crazy. It's insane. So a lot of people don't think about small businesses as being more than just like retail or restaurants. And those are awesome. Right. But we also have small businesses doing all sorts of other kinds of things. We've got Changing Hands Bookstore in Phoenix. Have you been there? Oh my gosh. I really just need you to give me a tour. You've got to get, <laughs> okay, when this is done, let's just go, right? Yeah. We can do shopping, we can do food. What does she have? Lana Crusoe, I'm loving this talk. That means slowly oh, she's going to tell us about that's so great. her small business. When I visit Arizona this summer, I'll treat you and submit to Starbucks, Kenzie. No, he's just me. Mm. <laughs> Starbucks no, is not Starbucks a small business. No, Starbucks is not a business. small business. Now, Starbucks is a talk? great corporate partner, Yeah, but there's some... We are a coffee haven in Arizona. Did you know that? Everyone, but right when I was moving here, people from LA are like, oh my God, you have to go to Lux. You yeah. have to go to Lux. Lux is amazing. Yeah. So, and it's not very far from here. Have you been? I have been, yeah. Okay, okay good. There's one. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was like one of the things people told me before I moved here. But we have awesome coffee in Phoenix. We have this whole coffee culture. We also have independent restaurant culture. So we've got all these independent small businesses that are doing amazing things. So obviously we've got food, we've got coffee, we've got retail, Bunky Boutique. Have you been there? You have got to get out. You need out. to just write a big list. <laughs> Basically, all the viewers, look, I mean, I, I go home a lot and just get rest. No, <laughs> you've got to go to Bunky because Bunky has these little t-shirts that have an outline of the state of Arizona with a heart over Phoenix. Oh my gosh, I want one. Once you get one, you'll be a real Arizonan. I think so. Okay, good. I thought, uh, well, seeing my first cactus, I was really excited. <laughs> that was just like, oh my gosh. You can actually get clothes with cacti on them. At Bunky Boutique. So it's really like Arizona centric? Love it. We love Arizona and if you don't love Arizona you should probably leave but do, Arizona is awesome. Do you miss living here all the time? I do which is why I'm on the first plane home when boats end. I'm like see ya peeps. And you just travel back and forth? Back and forth. Are you A-list on Southwest? <laughs> <laughs> well we fly uh, the New American Airways oh, okay. which used to be U.S. which is an Arizona based company. I know this. Yeah, they're Tempe based in my district, so I am a loyal customer of theirs. Okay. But they actually started out as a pretty small business because before it was American, it was U.S. And before it was right. U.S., it was America West. And they are Tempe based. Oh. See? So we've History. seen the evolution of a small business turn into a big to business. Into, that's exactly right. That's so cool. Now the largest airline in the world. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I know you have a very busy schedule. But it's great to be here. I know that we all love the conversation. Lana Caruso, real quick, her yes. business is Little Bits Pre-Loved Kids Clothes in Wickenburg. Okay, so this is a big deal. There's a huge, huge market for pre worn clothing Second so this is clothes. awesome well and especially with kids because they grow out of it in like 15 seconds right. but there's also things like my sister's closet there's tons of awesome right. companies all locally owned all small businesses people should check them out and this week during small business week give them some love sounds good thank you so much Thanks. for stopping by it was great meeting you and nice chatting. to meet you too um i left you a list of some awesome companies okay this okay. is amazing there you I go like carl's bakery it's happening delicious that's where the cronuts are right oh, that's where the cronuts are got it and handmade chocolates I like chocolates too. But yeah, they're good. Cronut. Enjoy the cronuts. They have a, and a lemon basil cronut. Yeah, lemon basil cronut. That's not the one I had this morning. I had the chocolate one. I kind of wished 
I knew that you guys were coming in. I would have just like <laughs> slipped you a 20, like, hey, can you pick up some? made our rounds around the valley, picked up all the best things. Yeah, and I would be like, I don't even need to go to the store anymore. You know what? We should do that one day where I bring samples from some of the best small if businesses. If you want to arrange that, I'm so down to feature this. We'll make it happen. It sounds delicious. I am a small business <laughs> maven. I want my product yeah. Yeah, I'm into this. Let's 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 make it happen. Yeah, Christine can make that happen. Okay, I good. believe in her. She's in charge. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye. All right, guys. Representative Kirsten Cinema. Next up, we'll be chatting with Steve Kraft.